What's up guys, my name is Brandon and just as predicted in my last video, Apple has released the final public version of iOS 10.2.1. So in this video, we're going to be discussing what's new in 10.2.1 as compared to 10.2, how this impacts jailbreaking, and whether you should update or not. So first of all, what's new in iOS 10.2.1? And as you can tell from the build number, it is the same build number as beta 4. So that's one thing that isn't new in 10.2.1 is the same 14D27 build number. So what is new in iOS 10.2.1 are really two big things. So the first thing is that Apple fixed the battery drain issues that were present in iOS 10.2, specifically on the iPhone 6S. So I can't actually demonstrate that, you know, in a video, but that has been fixed. So the second thing is something that I can show on video, and that's the fact that Apple fixed the sliding your finger to change your brightness. So usually on previous versions of iOS, when you'd slide this slider right here for the brightness, you would switch pages, you know, accidentally you would always switch pages, but it's so much more accurate now and you don't actually switch pages as easily. So as you can see, this is on 10.2.1 right here. This is my iPhone 7 Plus on 10.2.1. You can see that when I slide, you can see sometimes, yep, there you go. You can see it sometimes just slides the pages and you can't get a good you know, grip, so to speak, on that little slider there. Here we go right here. I'm not even trying to, you know, mess up for the video. You can see it's just tough. And it's something that a lot of people have noticed. You know, it's just a small inconvenience, but it's something that's driven me crazy for years. So I'm really glad that Apple decided to fix that in 10.2.1. So aside from those two features, there really isn't much that changed at all. A lot of it's mostly on the back end, which is pretty common, you know, for a 0.1 update. You don't really expect too much from a 0.1 update to begin with. All right, so now let's talk about what most of you are probably here for and that is how does this 10.2.1 release affect jailbreaking. So as I talked about in my previous video, which you definitely need to check out if you haven't yet, it's in the cards right now and also a link in the description. So if you watch that video, I talked about how you do not want to update to 10.2.1 if you're looking to jailbreak your device, because Yalu will only work on iOS 10 through 10.2, except for of course the iPhone 7, which needs to be on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1 specifically. So now the big question is, do you update to 10.2 from iOS 10.0.1 to 0.0.2, or 10.1.1, and it really depends. So usually the best practice is to update to the latest jailbreakable firmware, but of course this yellow jailbreak is anything but the norm, it's very different. So if you're on anything under iOS 10.1.1, say iOS 10.0.1, 10.0.2, you know, something under iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1, I'd say to go ahead and update to 10.2 sometime this week, because according to my spreadsheet that I created for the amount of time Apple keeps these signing periods open, we should have at least seven days before iOS 10.2 stops being signed. You also want to make sure to save your SHSH2 blobs, which I have a video on as well. You can find that in the cards. Now, if you're on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1, I would stay there because we know for sure that a jailbreak is possible and it has been compatible with the beta of Yalu since day one. And Luca is just so highly unpredictable at this point and anything could still happen. I will have a more in-depth jailbreak update video sometime this week as well, because if you saw my Twitter, Luca did a lot of talking on Reddit this weekend and revealed a lot of very interesting information. So yeah, guys, this was just a very short video informing you of the public 10.2.1 release and how it affects jailbreaking. So just to recap, if you're on iOS 10.0.x, I'd say to update to 10.2 sometime this week. And if you're on iOS 10.1.1, I'd stay there for now unless you are just really interested in 10.2 for some reason and want to take a slight risk. Now, if you have an iPhone 7, of course you want to stay on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1 because no other firmware is jailbreakable for you at this time. And if you have any questions about your specific situation, your device and your firmware, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out with that. So thanks for watching guys. And again, look forward to that jailbreak update video later this week and make sure to follow me on Twitter for more real time updates. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.